transition flight was just one of many test flights our team completed this past quarter. Year to date, we've completed over 230 flights and we're on track to reach our goal of 400 flights this year. In fact, in a recent week, we completed 26 flights. The team is also working towards our goal of demonstrating a commercial operations-like flight cadence with Midnight. That means flying upwards of 15 times in one day. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Maybe I can ask you on, on the, the midnight flying that you've done. Um, could you talk about how many of those flights you've done are, are on the midnight aircraft and a little bit more color on, on that kind of the type of flying that you've, you've done and, and any learning, if, that, if that's leading to any learnings that, uh, as you build the, uh, the next aircraft here? Yeah, hey, Savi, happy to chat about that. Um, as I mentioned earlier on the call and we put in our shareholder letter, we've really ramped up the flight test cadence these last uh, last couple quarters. So you can see where uh, you know, we've flown geez, a couple, of, couple hundred times so far already. Um, those flights are across both Maker and Midnight. Uh, most of the flying we're doing today is with Midnight. That's where all the lessons are coming from. Uh, as an example, today we actually did six flights uh, on Midnight. So as to why we're doing the flying and what we're learning from that, uh, there's really two main goals. The first is gathering data to support our upcoming piloted flights. Uh, you know, we are learning a lot about the aircraft as we fly, its handling qualities, uh, control laws, those sorts of things. But then the other thing we're learning, both from Maker and Midnight, is uh, operational learnings. So uh, as, I, as I talked about, we're working to ramp up the cadence of operations even further with the goal of demonstrating the type of operation we do commercially. Uh, which will be flying, you know, up to 15 times per day. So in order to do that, we have to put a bunch of systems, you know, through their paces, our battery cooling infrastructure, uh, you know, working to pull data off the aircraft super efficiently, all those things. And, uh, you know, all that supports both the piloted flight testing as well as the, you know, certification and, and ultimate operations. Hopefully that helps.
Last year, we announced the largest eVTOL contract yet by the U.S. Department of Defense for a maximum value of up to $142 million. Today, we're announcing that as part of that, we recently delivered our first midnight aircraft to the United States Air Force. In order to unlock this delivery milestone, our midnight aircraft first had to pass the DOD's required military airworthiness assessment. Following the delivery, a team of U.S. Air Force personnel worked alongside Archer to perform flight operations, including executing simulated medical evacuation, cargo, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance flights. Alongside this, we have shared that we have started to build our fleet of six aircraft with systems that conform to these requirements so that we can continue for credit testing with the FAA. We are well underway in manufacturing our initial piloted conforming Unite aircraft. Our supplier partners are currently fabricating the primary structure and many system components, leveraging their decades of experience in the aerospace industry. I want to thank all of our suppliers for their partnership and teamwork as we work together to bring Midnight to market. We plan to start the final assembly of the first conforming piloted Midnight aircraft within the next two months at our state-of-the-art San Jose, California manufacturing facility. Over the next year, we plan to build at least six of these aircraft to accelerate our certification flight testing efforts, and we plan to hold our first piloted flight in early 2024. On the final assembly of our first piloted midnight aircraft, we recently received the bonded wing assembly at our production facility here in California. The team is now integrating systems into the wing and preparing to mate it to the fuselage in the coming weeks.